Hi, Bolo here with Real Time Horsemanship. Uh, today we're going to talk about desensitization. All right, and by the way, this is uh, this is Shooter. Uh, he's uh, an, an unbroke two-year-old colt. Uh, we just he just arrived about a week or so ago, and uh, he's going to be one of our personal personal stock, as a matter of fact. So, but he's a, he's a good candidate for this demonstration. All right, he's going to be the volunteer for the day. How many times have you heard the term "Oh, my horse is bomb-proof"? Well, I'm here to tell you. There's no such thing as a bomb-proof horse. Uh, it just it just doesn't happen. It's like trying to sell a used car. Oh, Grandma rode the horse to Sunday school on Sundays, and he's okay with kids and all that. There's no such thing as a bomb-proof horse. What we do is we mitigate the chances of that horse being reactive. That's all we're really doing. Okay. Uh, we we were at a mounted shooting uh, uh, demonstration one time at a, at a fairgrounds and a helicopter landed uh, uh, in the arena as a demonstration also. And the horses, some of the mounted shooting horses actually got a little reactive to that helicopter. Well, I can't afford to hire a helicopter to come to the ranch and desensitize my horse to helicopters. So in other words, there's no conceivable way you can desensitize your horse to everything there is out there in the world. You just can't do it, okay? Uh, so what we do, there's, there's two types of desensitizations. Uh, and I like to call direct and indirect. All right. Today we're going to do a, a direct desensitization of the water bottle, the spray bottle, and I'll talk about that in a second. But what, what will go a long way is the indirect part of this equation, and that is, all right, the more you work your horse, the more you train them, the more you give them a job to do, the more you make them think about what they're doing and what their feet are doing, and so on. M remember my 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 the, the three things I want from a horse: respect, focus, and trust. Okay, uh, in this case, the focus and trust is what's important here. If the horse is focused on me, then they're not worried about the horse eating monkeys in the trees and the bushes when you're on the trail. If the horse trusts me, then he, the horse knows that I'm not going to put them in harm's way. So you've got those two elements going for you for the horse. Now, now you've mitigated that, that reactiveness uh, a, a long way, and now your horse will generally be uh, uh, less responsive or less reactive or spooky uh, in the real world. Okay, so the more you work your horse, the more you move their feet, get them focused on you, get them trusting you, then those issues kind of go away in general, okay? Because you, again, you can't desensitize every single thing. Now, there are some things though that, that people have trouble with, and I'm gonna go over today. People ask me about the, the spray bottle. Uh, we gotta fly them for sprays and, and so forth. So we gotta get them uh, desensitized to this. All right, so I'm just going to give you a little quick demonstration, and this is kind of a quick fix. Again, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to desensitize a, um, a shooter here to the spray bottle, and that's just, just one thing, though. Okay, and then you kind of go to something else and something else until he gets better trained and develops his focus and trust with me, and then most things he won't worry about. All right, uh, for a spray bottle. Get yourself a spray bottle, fill it full of water. Don't waste your fly spray training, because trust me, you got to, to, to spray a lot to, probably to get him... Um, to get them desensitized. So we're going to start with, again, this is just water. And I know for a fact you don't like this. That's why we're using it for this demonstration, all right? So what we're going to do is the approach and retreat type of method, all right? Uh, pressure on, pressure off. However you want to look at it, we're going to do it just like the, the, the stick and string. Uh, when we des desensitize them by slapping the ground, it's kind of the same thing. It's approach and retreat. So first thing I'm going to do is get him out of my space, okay? All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to... I'm just going to take the bottle. I'm going to start spraying it kind of out here. Now, well, first of all, let's see how he likes it to begin with. Okay, okay. He doesn't like it so much. Let's bring him back in a little closer to the camera. Let's try it again. Nope, nope. See, he doesn't. He does not like this whatsoever. Let's just see how it is on this side. No, nope, no. Nope, he doesn't. He doesn't particularly care for it. So what we're going to do? We want to make sure, let him know that everything is fine. He can trust me. All right. And again, a good time to do this is after a good workout, also. Uh, if, you can, if you can at least teach your horse to send a little bit, give him a little workout, move his feet, um, just uh, back him up, do some things ahead of this, and that'll help also. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into all that at this point. Just talk about how to use uh, the approach and retreat for the spray bottle. So here we go. I'm just going to start spraying it in the air, just kind of like this. All right, just kind of away from him, like I would the stick and string away from him. Then I'll bring it in closer. And he's not going to like it at some point. I'm going to find me a starting point. Right there is my starting point. See, he backed away from this. He doesn't particularly like it. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do, we're just going to keep going. 
I'm going to spray it, and I'm not going to take it away until he stops and relaxes just a little bit. All right. I'm going to try to keep us in front of the camera here. And I'm just going to keep on with rhythm. I'm just going to spray this bottle. He doesn't like I'm waiting for him to stop. And when he stops, I'll stop. Let's just cut there. Right there almost. Okay, there. Now I'll stop. I'll walk up and pat him. All right, good boy. Maybe even take the bottle and just kind of rub him with the bottle. See, he's a little bit nervous even with the bottle itself. Just kind of rub him with that. Let him know the bottle itself is not going to hurt him. Make sure we get both sides. See, he's, see, he's a little nervous even just with the bottle on this side. So I'm just going to rub him with the bottle on this side. All right, there we go. Let him know the bottle's not going to eat him. All right, there we go. All right, and I'm going to go back to it. And a, a good practice, too, is uh, things going away from them, uh, that, this builds your confidence a lot. Okay, when you're when something's moving away from the horse, they're a little more comfortable with that, and not tend not to get so worried. It's those things are coming right at them is what makes them nervous. There we go. It's all right. So just let them follow me around as I spray it on both sides. And again, turn around and just sort of just spread all around. Now remember the object here is for him to stand still and relax. So I'm just going to keep spraying it kind of all around him. It's just water. Just keep going. And spray it with rhythm. Again, don't wait and just kind of all of a sudden shoot it in his face, that kind of thing. Just spray it with rhythm. There we go. Now you see him kind of stand still right there. Yeah, okay, still step back. As long as he's moving, I'm going to keep spraying. Keep two eyes. Remember, the rules always apply. I want, there we go, there. I want two eyes. There we go. And out of my space. Okay, all right, very good. I mean, he does good, don't be afraid to reward him, okay? So again, we'll kind of move him back here in front of the camera, the best we can here with this. See, now I'm still moving away, but yet I'm turning around and kind of spraying it more at him. And there we go, but I'm still moving away from him. Pat him, and then I'm gonna do it again. Now again, the whole objective here is I want him to, when I go to spray him, I want him to stand still. Because uh, if I need to spray him for, uh, for flies, if I need to spray some, uh, uh, some medic medication on him, on a wound, uh, like vetricin and so forth, then he needs to be able to stand still and, and accept it. Now, we're getting a little bit better. He's still not comfy, but at least he's starting to accept it, stand still just a little bit. Just gonna keep going, keep going. Now, I see his head come down just a tiny bit right there. So I'm gonna say, okay, thank you very much. Good boy, good boy. I'm gonna go back at it. And what I do, I just sort of can't, kind of keep creeping things to him. Again, I'm going to try to keep him here in front of the camera for you, for you guys. All right. So I'm going to go back out. I'm away. I'm away. And I come back in. I just sort of creep in. All right. And he's still not real comfy, but that's okay. And this could take some time. However, there, he's licking his lips just a little bit. Stop it. Rub him. So thank you very much. So you look for these little signs of him relaxing and starting to think about this and still reacting to it. Again, let me get back over in front of the camera just a bit here. All right. I'm going to start keep spraying. And keep your energy down. Just, it's no big deal. It's just a stupid cowboy out here spraying the air. That's all it is. Just spray it all around him. Don't even look at him. It's like it's no big deal. Uh, if your body language doesn't make it a big deal, then the horse doesn't really believe it is a big deal. Okay. There we go. So now he's standing still, and I'm gonna start creeping a little closer to him. Remember, get both sides, both sides here. There we go. Okay, but as long as he's moving, I'm not gonna take it away. So now I'm getting pretty much close to him. Start with his shoulders here a little bit, his chest and shoulders. Let him know that's okay. Now, he's still, he's moving back. So I'm gonna just keep going. He's moving back. And if, no matter how crazy they get at this point, and if he wants to drag me around the farm, and again, I'm gonna try to keep him in front of the camera as best I can. We're probably, we're probably out of the camera. Come on, buddy, let's get back over here. Here we go, stay in front of the camera. There we go. There, 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 let me pat him. Go back at it. And do this with rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One with rhythm. Okay. Don't just wait and wait back and wait and go boo. That that doesn't that doesn't help. Just 
with rhythm. There we go. Now, through his shoulders, up here on his back, on his weather shield. Wait till there. He's doing pretty good right now. All right, not bad, not bad. Good boy, not bad. Let me turn around with the camera again. Let me get the other side. This seems to be a little more, a little more reactive on this side than the other, but we're doing good. So now he's kind of figuring out, hey, everything's all right. Yep, yep, doesn't like that so much. I'm gonna keep spraying that butt until at some point. There, stop it, take it away. He stops, I stop. There we go, see? There, not so bad. Let's get you back in front of the camera again here. There we go. Right here. Okay, now let's see what we got. Now, this is more like it. Good boy, good boy. You'll be able to spray him for flies and so forth. And again, this may take uh, a session or two. Kind of depends on the horse. There. And then once he gets this good, then it'll start working up here toward his ears, toward his back. So he's still not comfortable with his back, with, with, with his back in there, which is normal. He wants to back away from that. And again, I'm just going to keep going, work on that butt just a little bit. There. And you guys probably can't see this from the back side. I'm just spraying his butt until he stops. There we go. Let him be okay with that. All right. So, and. Your butt. Thank you. All right, there we go. There we go. And like I said, if it, if this takes time, and for, for the sake of time, it, it, for this uh, video, I'm not going to uh, spend a whole lot of time. But I want to get the idea. You see now, he's okay with it. Just spray, 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 just like it's nothing. And again, just use water so you don't waste anything to begin with. You want him totally desensitized. All this. Here we go. Okay, see him moving. I'm gonna stay with it until he stops moving. If he stops moving, I'll stop and pet him. Good boy, good boy. Okay, so you get the idea, all right? So get you a, a, a spray bottle, just put some water in it. Uh, uh, again, before you do this, give him a nice little workout ahead of time. Uh, if you can, that, that, that helps us go a lot further depending on how bad your horse is. And then just start with the approach and treat. Again, start way out here, way out here. Bring it closer, back in, closer, closer, closer. Always keep two eyes. Okay, start spraying. And, and don't forget to bit both sides. You'll find one side is probably a little, a little easier than the other. And that's it. And get them used to using, uh, get them used to, uh, to accepting uh, the spray bottle for bugs and so forth. So anyway, there you go, using a spray bottle. Bolo, real-time horsemanship.